This tutorial is on how to use Quick Controls in Cubase 4. Quick Controls are a easy and fast way for you to have hands-on control of software parameters within Cubase. They basically allow you to map a external knob or slider or control on a MIDI controller that you have to a parameter within the Cubase software. And it's a great way to give you the feel of hardware while still using software. One thing I should point out as we get started is that you need to make sure that you're running the most recent version of Cubase to be able to access Quick Controls because it's something that didn't build into the original version 4. So you want to make sure that you go to your Cubase menu about Cubase and that you're running at least say version 4.5 or afterwards. So you want to make sure that you're using that most recent version and if you don't have it you can get it as a free download from Steinberg's website. So the first thing you want to do is go up to your devices menu and pull down to device setup. And in the left hand pane here you want to select under remote devices quick controls and it'll bring up this window here. And the first thing you do is you want to tell Cubase which MIDI controller you're using. So under the MIDI input field you want to drag the pick list down and select whichever MIDI controller you're using. Now I'm using an M-Audio USB trigger finger so that's the one I'm going to select here. Cubase will give you eight different slots, so you have the ability to use up to eight different knobs, sliders, controllers in the software. And to start assigning, you click on one of the slots, make sure that it's highlighted, and you're going to twist one of the knobs or access your control, move your control on your MIDI controller. You can't see it on the screen, but I'm doing it now. And then you want to click immediately after the Learn button. And as you can see, our numbers have updated here. And we're going to do that again for control 2. So I'm going to highlight control 2. I'm going to twist a different knob on my MIDI controller. And I'm going to click learn. And as you can see, it's assigned both of those. Next, you want to click apply to apply your changes. And OK. Now I'm going to show you how to use these assigned quick controls with audio tracks, instrument tracks, and MIDI tracks. So I've started off with just a regular stereo audio track. I've added a drum loop to it. It's going to solo this track, so that's all we hear. And in this track, I've put in insert slot 1, Cubase's dual filter, which is just a little DJ style low pass, high pass filter with a filter frequency position and resonance knob. Now, to access the quick controls on this track, in this left hand window here, you have all these different sections. And you want to click on the section called Quick Controls. Quick Controls gives you eight slots that correspond to your eight different assignments for controllers that you made in the Quick Controls menu in the device setup. So in slot number one, I'm going to click in this, and I have that dual filter that I know I've inserted into insert slot one. So I'm going to expand my inserts. I can see the dual filter here. I'm going to expand the dual filter, and it gives me the three parameters on that dual filter that I can control. The first one is filter frequency position. So I'm going to double click on that. And as you can see, it's mapped and it shows me where the current position of the filter position is. And now I'm going to twist my knob. And as you can see, it's assigned correctly. And I move my knob up and down on my trigger finger and it controls the filter frequency position on the dual filter. Now I'm going to do it again and I'm going to control with that second assignment that I made. I'm going to control another parameter on the dual filter and this time I'm going to do resonance. So I'm going to check the assignment, make sure it's working correctly. And as you can see, I can assign and control both filter frequency and resonance. So let's just check out how that sounds. I'm going to play our track here, and you can see how this is going to sound. Next, we're going to see how quick controls work within instrument tracks. So I have an instrument track loaded in here with an instance of Cubase's Halion 1 VSTi. And in an insert slot on Halion, I have a bit crusher, Cubase's built-in bit crusher. And I want to automate the bit depth and the sample divider controls with our newly assigned quick controls. So once again, you on the left-hand side, select your quick controls menu. In slot 1, I'm going to expand that, navigate to my bit crusher and I'm going to double click on bit depth. 
check the assignment, it's working correctly. Then I'm going to move on and the next one I'm going to assign is going to be our sample divider into slot 2. So you can see I can simultaneously control our bit depth and our sample divider. Let's just check out how that sounds. <laughs> Next, we're going to see how to use quick controls with MIDI tracks. So I have a MIDI track here that I've created, and in my VST instruments window, I've created an instance of Halion 1, and I've assigned the MIDI output of this MIDI track to Halion 1. Now, the MIDI track, again, has sections here that we can access, and one of those sections, conveniently, is quick controls, and it gives us our eight assignment slots again. So I'm going to click in an assignment slot and it will give me a list of everything I can control. And as you can see, the instrument, the VSTI that's on this track is Halion 1. And I expand down Halion 1 and I can see all of the parameters in Halion 1 that I can automate. So for example, we have Chorus Mix, which I'll assign to slot 1. And we have Stereo Delay Mix, which I'll assign to slot 2. I check my assignments, they're working correctly. Now let's just see how that sounds. Great, and we can see that that's working correctly as well. So we've successfully assigned quick controls to audio tracks, instrument tracks, and MIDI tracks in Cubase 4. Now one of the things I should point out as well is what happens if you want to undo an assignment. So let's take our MIDI track here and say we want to change or undo one of these. You click in the parameter, you go no parameter, and you have to double click on it, and it'll remove your assignment and give you the ability to make another assignment. The last thing we'll cover here is one of the really powerful uses of quick controls, which is using them to record automation in Cubase. So I'm going to show using the example of our audio track that we have up here. So I'm just going to select our audio track and we have our dual filter controls that are assigned over here. So what I'm going to do to record automation is I'm going to enable the write button, write enable button on the quick control section and the read automation button. And I'm going to make sure our tracks at the beginning and then I'm going to make a pass. Make sure you don't hit the record button or that's going to record over the audio that we have in here. We simply hit the play button while turning the controls. If the write button is enabled while you're playing the track, it'll record the automation for you. So now I'm going to turn off the write and just leave the read enabled. We're going to kick back to the beginning of the track and we're going to be able to hear that automation. Now to access this automation, easily just right click on the track and select show used automation and it'll expand our menus under here where you can see and edit the automation at a later date. So you can save this automation, you can edit it, you can change the automation. Now you've basically been able to do something that would have been very difficult or time consuming to do drawing it in with the mouse and we've been able to record automation on this track.